everywhere. This is how it's done, people. Get out. Team debrief for all players. And then gather with your boys. I am now. I wasn't before. I love this song though. Maybe in time, baby, you can't be in your ride. No diggity. I'm about to bag it, bag it up. Like the way you work it. No diggity. I'm about to bag it up. Uh, it's an 09. Yes, yeah, Sprint, uh, you can, uh, like, pay off the phone. Just buying it all at once, so you can, like... It's almost like renting it, like, when, and when you, it's, well, they call it, I guess, leasing. So, like, when it, when the lease is up, you can either keep the phone or give it back and just get a new one and do it again. Yeah, so we're all, uh, this is what we're doing, uh, afterwards, uh, we're here at the King's Inn. Um, we got a few people here, uh. This nice young lady was just walking by and saw the music that was being played. Uh, who doesn't want another beer? <laughs> Harsh med. Yeah, we uh, we met this guy. I, I just I don't know his name. I just shared his video a little while ago. Uh, well, it was uh. Don't quote me. I think it was Richard Parker. Or no, it was Harsh. It was Harsh that was uh, doing a videotape. Uh, this guy moved here uh, from out of state. Uh, his family's originally from Framingham, Massachusetts. Uh, they came here to work at the car plant, which subsequently, like, later, I guess it, they laid a bunch of people off. Um, they went through financial hardships. Call it. I'm taking that. Yeah. yeah. All right, Adam said, said it first. All right. I'll um, play with this hair for a bit. Yeah. All right. As gay shit ensues. <laughs> hey, you know but yeah, what? No, um, if I'm going to play homemaker, gay shit's going to ensue. I'm telling a story that you already filmed once. Um, But yeah, so, so these guys moved here. Um to work uh lost their Hello job there. they went through financial hardships and the city has shut their water off and now they're living in a hotel since where... april 24th they've shut their water off since april 24th 2014 yeah and mind you uh these people saw what we were doing today and they fed us uh, they gave every, like our whole squad food, like people who were in like a really shitty place. By the way, really good food, and even it, Domino's it was, delivered it was, to it us. It was really good food. Um, That's how much they like their efforts. So, yeah, I was uh, I was originally just sharing like this guy Fuck like yeah. with his music because it was awesome. But uh, Ter yeah, you Terrence, know, like Terrence is, trying, is having a lot of fun. He's We're all having a lot of, a lot of fun. fun. This is awesome. I know Terrence is having fun because his shirt's still off. Like if his shirt was on, he'd try to be professional. Now, to be but fair, have you ever seen me like outside of an actual like rally where I have to interview? Hey, where I'm wearing if that you're true, a professional buddy. rock star and you have your shirt on, you're not doing it right. Boom. Exactly. There you so go. Are you a rock star though? Daryl's a rock star. I'm Honestly. not a rock star, but I live like a rock star. But, that is but true. you're playing in the bed of a pickup truck, theater. so does that make you a country star or a rock star? I didn't say I didn't rock. Right. I said I wasn't a rock star. Right. The point is, Adam has his rainbow hair that he wants to share to everybody once again. I mean, I like my rainbow hair. And it's the awesome. point is... I want to say, uh, can I call some politicians out, or is that too offensive for your show? I don't care. I Melissa hate, Mays, I hate Karen the whole Weaver, government. the fucking unconcerned pastors, they're a bunch of whiny fucking crooks. Fuck them all. The sooner you go after them, make their lives a living hell, the sooner you'll get this flint shit turned around. Like I said, just take your pots and pans and just hang out outside their bedroom window all night. I know where they fucking live. I'll yeah. post their fucking addresses just make in some noise. this, if you tag me, in this fucking live stream itself. Right? That, well, I mean, maybe not tonight because I, I want to have some fun, but tomorrow morning, you better believe that shit. Well, 
We still got to drive home too. It, just, just an idea. But yeah, no. Like, fl but seriously, I'm so tired of these frauds pretending to be activists, not helping anybody. That's why we love the people like Adam Rice. Come on, give yourself a give, give yourself a hug. Oh, we're, fl we're flipping the can. All right. All right. See, this man is a real activist. I, That's I, why he travels 15 hours just to fucking donate water. I am only this face. I have no body. This is this this is ju this is just me oh. here. Uh, this is it. This is all I am. No. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. I mean, I, I I don't know, man. Like my philosophy. Hey, can you do me a favor and oh. make me an admin of Pia Pia I in Illinois? Yeah, that's what you want. All right, yeah, do that shit for but, me. You know, that's like that's all I ask. You know, that my way, my philosophy my is like, hey, like I come from Maine. Like, oh fuck no, Ch Chad Chad's DD. I don't even wait. Chadwick's uh, designated driver. Uh, well, God, well God yeah. In Harsh isn't even like leaving tonight. Mo most of these guys are staying here. Um, I, but I, I don't but think anyways. I'm leaving. I don't know yet. What? Oh. Well, I'm just gonna like give this quick thought and sign off. I guess we're having like yeah, a group that'd meeting. Yeah, be a good idea. Like, to sign off. So like my my thought is this: like I live in Maine, like. The government sucks. Our state government sucks. I don't have faith in any of our politicians, but our state really does show up and like do good and make good choices when it like really matters like 90% of the time. So like I feel lucky, you know, like I don't want for much um, in my personal life. Like I don't need things like I don't want things like what I want is like the world to be better I want these other communities to like get the things they need um so you know to me coming out here isn't like it's not a price tag it's not a dollar sign it's not a time commitment it's just like I'm lucky that I can be a part of giving myself what I want and like coming to Flint and just giving some people water that like literally can't leave the house like that's a blessing um I don't look at it like it costs me anything um and I'm not like giving my philosophy to like condemn anyone else for not thinking like that or not being able to do that like every you're all fucking awesome you all do great things for your own reasons um but like hey like this is like a good moment that just like today humanity did some awesome shit and like we all can be happy about that so like let's just like leave everyone tonight with some love and like thanks because like we couldn't do this without all the people that like actually gave money and like helped share these videos so we could even find like the people who really needed this stuff so like today humanity wins like that's uh the the ending message for op flint um and tomorrow well we get back to the fight and we keep going uh so much love peace to you guys and have a there uh raleigh there is a donation page um we're tr you still can donate to it, but we're not doing any more deliveries tonight. Uh, every, I think everyone's headed back home. Um, what I want to do is, after seeing this, because this was my first time in Flint, I, I don't want to wait another year to come back here. I, I really want to get back here, like, soon with some water. And, like, I mean, granted, I want to, like, help these guys fight their government to fix the infrastructure, but, like, they're definitely going to need water again soon. Um, so maybe like everybody who is willing to still donate, um, let us regroup on like when we can come back here and then we can start sharing that fundraiser again. Uh, so we can have a plan that the money is going to go to and we're not just telling people like, Hey, like give us some money and we'll go sometime i know i don't want to tell people that i want to be really transparent if i'm going to ask or it's have anyone give money to things um my goal is maybe like three months out trying to get back here and then doing like some solid networking so we can have more cars and trucks um that would be key is because there's what we found is with all of these donations we had, there were a lot of people in the area that didn't know we were doing this and we were able to help them. But moving forward, like we can take on a lot more of that. Um, so 
again, I, I, I appreciate you guys um, who are willing to still donate to this cause. Um, we won't forget you, and most of all, like, nobody will forget Flint. Um, much love and peace, and have a great night.